Believe it or not, we are nine days away from the NBA preseason starting in Japan. The Phoenix Suns thus far in the preseason have done very little to make themselves convincingly better than they were last season. The Suns have a hole in the point guard position because there is uncertainty. Chris Paul does a great job leading the group, but after him, campaign, he's a question mark. We've picked up Dwayne Washington. He's more of a two guard. But James Jones is taking another stab at it, trying to bring in another guy who could plug that hole. Pause. Frank Jackson, who most recently has spent time with the Detroit Pistons and has also spent time with the Pelicans. Let's take a detailed look into his career so far, find out what he's good at and what he probably needs to improve on. If this is going to be one of those pickups that really works like Ish Wainwright and not one that doesn't work like Justin Jackson. Standing six foot three, about 205 pounds out of Washington, D.C. originally, Frank Jackson is apparently a good Mormon boy. I grew up Mormon, so I appreciate it. I think he's going to be a really good locker room guy because of it. Not a lot of headaches. Probably not going to be pulling a Jason Richardson driving 200 miles an hour with your kid in the car. Probably not going to be pulling a Josh Jackson, endangering your kid with, with weed, allegedly, or getting thrown out of a concert for being too drunk and trying to jump up on stage constantly. Frank Jackson out of high school originally committed with his dream school BYU but during his senior year he started getting all kinds of extra interest from other schools and then Coach K came calling and who could blame him he decided that maybe he had made his decision a little prematurely and he ended up switching his commitment to Duke. At Duke playing with Jason Tatum. Frank Jackson won the starting job, but then succumbed to a foot injury. He ended up shooting just under 40% from three, and I would say that's probably the biggest knock against him is that he's not a great shooter. Career, 33% from three, and recently it's been closer to 30%. Frank Jackson, however, is explosive. Not just a little explosive, a lot of explosive. At 6'3", his dunking is probably going to be one of the funner things that we get to experience as Suns fans if he ends up getting any time playing. He's a crafty, skilled scorer around the rim. He's got a decent mid-range pull-up, but the main issue that's slowing Frank Jackson's progress in the NBA is his lack of assists. Now, don't get me wrong. He can make assists. He can help others. But statistically, the math does not add up. He is averaging around one assist per game for his career. And I'm sorry, but that's just not going to cut it. Once again, the Phoenix Suns seem to have gone after a combo guard who can definitely score the basketball but does not solve the issue at hand which is when Chris Paul goes out of the game who sets the table for everyone else Frank Jackson at this point I think could be the third guard because campaign through his faults through all of the smoking layups that he smokes campaign can at least help get the team involved and get others buckets at this point in our new Frank the Tank's career, he has not shown that ability. Drafted in the second round, first pick by the Hornets, he was immediately traded to the Pelicans. And in his first minutes in a real NBA situation, he scored 17 points in 19 minutes versus the Grizzlies. The kid can flat out score. Two injuries in his rookie season kept him out. First it was his foot, and then he had to have a hip surgery. But since then, he's been playing good basketball. And I think this is a real opportunity for the Suns to develop another point guard who could become something nice. Personally, I'm really excited to see this kid play in a Suns jersey. I don't think he's too old that he can't get better. And under the tutelage of Chris Paul, who knows? Maybe he learns how to facilitate a little bit better. As far as his jumper goes, I think he's got really nice form. He will make you pay if left open. In the Suns offense, it seems like everybody eats and it seems like everyone is allowed to shoot and shooting with confidence usually has good results, except for Jay Crowder. 
I would rate this pickup above Damian Lee. I would rate this above Dwayne Washington. But still, the Suns have yet to make a big signing, a big splash to really change the momentum going into this season. Right now, it kind of feels dead. Kind of feels like we sat on our hands trying to get Kevin Durant and we kind of super failed. And it kind of feels like we didn't get anything in the meantime. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Are you excited about Frank Jackson or does this not move the needle for you at all? I have a sneaking suspicion that Salty's not gonna care for him that much, but Sundo and I are gonna fall in love. That's just a good educated guess though. I'm gonna have a preseason preview video coming out soon. Stay tuned for that. Hit the like button for us. And as always, go Suns.